we can examine the results of a linear regression by visualizing the linear model and also the diagnostic plots. If we have this linear model where we are explaining the miles per gallon based on the weights of the car models in this auto data set, then we could create a, a plot. We could start with a scatter plot um, showing the weight, which is the explanatory variable in the x-axis, and mpg, which is the response variable in the y-axis. And we could add to that scatter plot the linear regression. In that case, we could use the ggplot package from the tidyverse. And we could set, um, first well, the, the data set that we want to use. We would pipe that data set into the ggplot function. And then we would define the aesthetics for the mapping argument. In that case, we would use the AES function. And we would say, okay, what variable we want to use for the x-axis. In this case, we would use weight. And then for the y-axis, we would use mpg. If we run this part of the code, then we create this uh, blank plot where we have the variables in the corresponding axis. To create a scatter plot, we would say plus geom to define the geometry of the plot. In this case, for a scatter plot, we would use geom point. Now we can see the visually the um, the relationship between the weight, which is the explanatory variable, and mpg, the response variable. And as we can see from the correlation between this, these two variables, there is a negative relationship that is if weight increases, we can see that mpg decreases and vice versa. Also, we see that the magnitude of the correlation is uh, high, so we can say that the relationship is strong between these two variables. Then we could add to this plot the linear model. For doing that, we would use the geomsmooth function in, in ggplot to add the linear regression. If we look at the, the help documentation for the geomsmooth function, we would see that the, by default it would draw a smooth line. But if we want, we can change that line to be um, the, well, the, the linear regression. To do that, we would edit the method argument and we would set method to be rn. Now we have the plot and we have added the scatter plot and the linear regression. We would see these great areas um, next to the line. Those great areas correspond to the confidence intervals. We can uh, verify that in the health documentation for the geomesmooth function, and then we will see that it has this SE equal true argument. SE displays the confidence intervals around the well, the, the smooth or the inner regression line. But we can change this argument to be false so we don't see those um, confidence intervals around the derogation line. So if we run this now we have the regression line and the uh, over the scatter plot or showing the relationship between these two variables. So um, as you can see in a regression model we fit this straight line um, and the purpose is to minimize the uh, square residuals. A residual is the difference between the predicted value and the observed value. So this is the best line that fits this, uh, well, this class of points for these two variables.